Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are doing something a little bit different today in we are going to be ranking the, like every color of Drake. So obviously I've been super obsessed with Drake's. If you haven't noticed by the last lore video, if you haven't watched that video, this has no spoilers, but there is definitely gonna be like maybe some spoilers. So about like how I feel about specific colors and maybe some upcoming like, ideas that I have for specific drakes. But without further ado, let me go over our little, um, our little tiers. So number one is beautiful, fly, sexy, gorgeous. So this is the top tier that you need to be, you need to either be beautiful, sexy, or gorgeous. You got to be one of these to make it up into this tier. And then second is very cool, like so much so. You're very cool. You're very cool. You're very, you're very that. You're very everything. I like you. I really like you a lot. You're just, you just might not be beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. Or you're just, you're just not that. And then this is the next tier where it's like, I thinky. Like, I thinky. Like, I think you did something. I think. I think you did something. I think you're everything, kind of, but you're just not, you're not very cool. I'm not, I'm not aware. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about you. I'm not very sure if you're very cool. I, I'm just not sure. I'm just, I, I'm just not sure. Then we have the next here, which is, hmm, do you smell that? Like something is not right. Something is not quite there. I, I, I think he is kind of like middle tier but like better middle tier. Cause it's like, I think he in a good way. Like, I think, I think yes. I think yes. I don't know yes, but I think yes. This is where it's like, I think no. Hmm. Do you smell that? Like, it's something, it stinks. Something stinks. I'm not sure what it is. Then the next tier is probably not. Probably not is pretty ex self-explanatory. Just probably not. Like, pro maybe, but probably, probably not. Like, I'm, I've kind of come to, like, a bit of a conclusion that this is probably not it for me. And then the last tier is, fuck, no. Like, no. No under no certain sentences, contexts, constructs. It's not gonna happen. You are a no. <laughs> I don't know where things are gonna really fall. I feel like we might, we might not really see a lot of no's because I do like Drake's. I do like Drake's think there's a few in here that actually are right here in this tier. Um, <laughs> but without further ado, let's just start this tier ranking. Let's, and we're starting with the Swamp Gas Drake. This is actually a public tier that was on like the little tier maker, but they unfortunately left out these two, the Valentine's Drake and the Toy Drake. And there might be one more missing, but it wasn't relevant enough for me to notice it was missing. But these two weren't in it. Like, do you see them here? Like, they might be here somewhere. But I just noticed that these two, I don't know. I can't see them. So I just added them myself. So they're a little bit, like, different in size. But let's just, like, not, let's not think about that. We're just not going to think about that. But we are going to start with Swamp Gas. This one is kind of our perfect candidate for, hmm, do you smell that? Because this Drake looks like it smells like absolute garbage. And it probably does. Um, and I don't think I like it, but I, but, but I don't, it's like, I don't think I like it, but I don't actually like think it's a probably not. Cause I still think it's cool. I like the color green. I like the particles. I think there's things you can do with the customization. Like you can make it work, but uh, something's not right. Something isn't right about it. Like, I don't know what it is about the swamp gas, but it's just not for me personally. Here's the strawberry drake. And this one is, I think, an I thinky. I think the strawberry drake could go up to very cool, like so much so, but something holds me back from putting it in here, which makes me think it should be an I thinky. Cause it's like, I think I like it a lot, but I also think that I don't like it as much as I might've thought I liked it. So it's in like, I thinky, I think, but, I, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And we can always come back to it. Here is the Stealth Drake. This is a very good candidate for very cool, like so much so. It's a cool, it's a cool concept. I don't have a lot of thoughts about it, but it is very cool. And I'm, I'm steadfast with thinking it's cool. I'm not questioning how cool this Drake is. 
if that makes any sense. And that is, I think that's like kind of, that's kind of a good idea. Then we have, what even is this one? Is this the Spotted Drake? I actually have this pulled up as well. This is Sunny Neo, just so I like know what I'm talking about. What is this one? Oh, this is a plushy Drake. I am going to put that in. Hmm, do you smell that? This I feel like this is the Spotted Drake. Yeah, this is not the plushy Drake. I'm stupid. This isn't Spotted. This is, hmm, do you smell that? Because I think they could have done something cooler for Spotted. He looks a bit moldy. I'm getting mold from this. I, I honestly, I, I think I'm moving it down to probably not. I think it's a probably not for me. It's a probably, probably, probably not. And it looks moldy. I wish they would have done something more fun with the spots. Maybe like a fantasy color. This is a fantasy creature. Why wouldn't you go fantasy? Why would you go with yellow in like mold spots? No, no, it is not it. It's not it. Next, we have the Starry Drake, which the Starry Drake is a great candidate for I thinky. I thinky. I thinky. I thinky that the starry drake is here. I don't smell anything wrong with it. There's nothing, there's no odors emitting from the starry drake, but is it very cool like so much so? Hmm. I don't think. I really just don't think. This is the split drake and I'm, I want to put the split drake in I thinky, but I think, unfortunately, it's got to be an, hmm, do you smell that? Way better than this, the Swamp Gas Drake, though. But I don't love the split Neopets. I feel like at one point in time, I thought they were everything. Um, but I just don't know. Like, I just don't know. I don't really know what is going on with the split. I used to love it, though. I used to love it. Because um, I like the purple and the orange. Like, we love a complementary color. I think. But I still smell something wrong because I think of all of the colors that are complementary, why would you choose orange and purple? And orange and purple, are they even the complementary colors? Or is it yellow and purple? I don't know. Just no. Heck no. And now we have the speckled drake, which I think goes into... I think it goes into I thinky. Because I don't like it more than the strawberry drake. But I clearly like it more than the Starry Drake. And I think he, it's way, way better than I, any of these tears. I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. You'll see later. You will see later. Um, that green is one of my favorite colors. Green is everything. And yeah, green, like green, green matters. I think like in some regards he goes in, this one could go in very cool, like so much so. And I also think the strawberry drake could make it its way up there. So we'll see. We'll see as we're ranking, as we're adding things in here, we'll see what everything, where everything goes. Here's the snow drake. I actually have a snow drake custom idea. So this one is going right up in beautiful, fly, sexy, gorgeous. You can't really see the snow drake because of the background, but let me just tell you that those brown eyes are so beautiful. The brown eyes, the snow look, I don't like that leaf. I'm sorry. That leaf is ugly to me. No. Heck no on that leaf. I don't get it. Um, well, I mean, I get it, but no, the leaf sucks. But the leaf is not enough for it to not be considered beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. I have to change this. Why didn't I change this one? I have to put that there. Okay. Beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. This is everything. It's everything. She's everything. And she's a very, like, so I see Neopets kind of, like, with gender sometimes. Like, I see a snow drake as a very feminine drake, whereas I see, like, a stealthy drake as a very more masculine drake. And I see the strawberry drake is more feminine. You know, like, they kind of have, like, a thing. And then when you don't, like, necessarily see, like, a clear case for, like, you know, femininity or masculinity. I feel like that's when I don't like it. Like, I don't really see this being a feminine or a masculine character. I don't see this. Well, maybe this is like a, like a dirty little character. I don't know. But next. <sighs> next, we have the skunk drake. The skunk drake, I think, might go into very cool, like, so much so. But I don't think I like it as much as the strawberry drake. So right now, it will be an I thinky. We're going to put it in I Thinky. I think the skunk drake's amazing. I really like the skunk drake. I like skunks in real life. Um, and I think the skunk drake is cool. What is this? This is the sketch drake. 
Yeah, probably not. Probably not on the sketch Drake. I'm not a sketch Neopet girly. Um, I don't really know who is a sketch Neopet girly. Um, sketch Neopet girlies, please come to the front and let's have a conversation. What do you like about this? You know, what's, what is here for you? Uh, because there's nothing here for me. But I don't know if it really goes into like the no category because I don't feel that strongly about it. I'm just kind of like, hmm, really? But next we have the zombie drink, which I think goes into, hmm, do you smell that? Because I, I, I like the zombie drink. I just don't think it's necessarily, I don't think I'm the target audience for the snow drink, which for the um the zombie drake which is okay which is okay and we're we're fine with that we're okay with that we're at peace with that we're living and we're accepting that but i don't know i think for some people i could see it being really cool i just i also just like feel like they could have done something cooler with the zombie drake but i'm not that's neither here nor there here's the silver drake i think i'm not gonna even check i'm just gonna assume it's the silver drake i think the silver drake goes in i think he I like it. I think it's a very, I think with customization, you can also like bring out some of the cool factors about it. I think it's also like if you want kind of a more gray drake, but you don't necessarily want as much of the animated style of the gray drake, I think the silver drake could be a good idea for you. Um, and like, it just very as much, but I, I think now like I think he is kind of confusing because I feel like I really like the strawberry drake compared to this like silver drake i have like honestly not many thoughts about the silver drake but none of those thoughts that i do actually have about the silver drake are negative but none of them are overwhelmingly positive either so i guess i think he is where she goes or they go or it next we have the shadow drake the shadow drake goes right in very cool like so much so I think there's an argument for the Shadow Drake possibly being in Beautiful Fly, Sexy, or Gorgeous because I'm getting a little bit of sexy from the Shadow Drake and I can admit it, I can admit it, I can admit it. And I like it, but I'm going to put it right here for now because it's very cool, like so much so. It, I feel like it has a similar energy as the Stealthy Drake, but it's a little bit less like, you know, it's a little, little, little less new. It doesn't have as much like wearables on and all that stuff, so... I respect it. This is the royal girl Drake. I'm gonna put her in, hmm, do you smell that? Because there is something very specific and suspicious about this bob and bangs. There's something not right about that that bang in, in this hair. This hair is, it's questionable. It's scary. Um, I don't, I don't like it, but I like everything else. So I can't quite put it in probably, I like this color purple too. That is something that I will note. This is a very co cool color, shade of purple. I wish it was the purple, like the purple Drake's color. Like this is a cool purple. I like this purple. Um, I also don't like this purple. This purple sucks. So I will put Royal Girl Drake at the top of, hmm, do you smell something? Like that. Because that bob is really throwing me off. That bob just completely, without the bob, I think, honestly, if they would have just not had any hair on the royal girl Drake, or, like, something simple, like, just a braid or something, she would go into I thinky, but that that bob, that bob smells awful. <laughs> royal boy Drake. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I think he's going right into beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous, because, again, I'm getting sexy, and I'm, I can admit it. I can admit that I'm finding this this Neopad a little bit sexy. Not in this form, but like, you know, if you translate it into like more of like a, you know, real life context, it's, you know, this is like just a cute little animated. I don't think he's sexy. I think like my idea of him is sexy. Um, I like the Royal Boy Drake. And I do really like this. What is this? What is this? This is the robot Drake. Do you smell that? There's something off about this robot Drake. I don't like it. I don't like that thing on its head. I, I just don't like it. It's not my style. It's not my vibe. I I think there's a case for it going and probably not. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. All the way down there is right. I just feel like it doesn't fit with the Neopets art style. Like, I don't know. It doesn't fit. It's, I mean, the stealthy one objectively doesn't fully fit either, but I like it. I still like it in like a way that it doesn't fit. But I don't know. Maybe I'll put him at the top of probably not for now. And then he could go like... They're light years away in how I feel. Like, her bob sucks, but, like, this pet kind of sucks to me. So, no. 
Now we have the Rainbow Drake. The Rainbow Drake is actually my favorite rainbow pet. And I think he's going in I thinky. And I think I like him a little bit more than the Silver Drake. There's something very nostalgic about the starry Neopets and the rainbow Neopets to me. When I think about Neopets, I think about a starry Gellert for some reason. And I also think about a rainbow Drake. I don't know why. I don't know why I have those thoughts. I actually did have a rainbow Drake named Clawshoe. So whoever owns Clawshoe at this point, because that pet gets like thrown around, um, trafficked. <laughs> but Clawshoe is like all over the dang Neo board. So hey, Clawshoe. Um, I thought you were cute, but your name was like not my favorite. So you had to, you had to scurry. But I do think he, I think he about you a little bit. I think he, so I will allow him to be there. The purple Drake. I think this is like the perfect case for, hmm, do you smell that? I, I mean, I think objectively, I like the purple Drake more than all four of these options. And so like, maybe it should go up into there, but I just don't think, I don't like the shade of purple. It's not my favorite. It doesn't really excite me or make me feel anything. And therefore, no, 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 no. And similarly, I don't like the pirate Drake. I don't like it. Something is weird about it and it's not my favorite. I think I'm going to put it in probably not. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't like the hook on the hand. I don't like the hat. I don't like the eye patch. I like the color. I like the color of the pirate Drake. So maybe because I like the color, does it go into, hmm, do you smell that? Yeah. I guess I'll put it at the end of, hmm, do you smell that? Unpopular opinion, but I don't like any of the pirate Neopets. I'm not a pirate girl. Sorry. You know, Pirates of the Caribbean fans, like, stand down. <laughs> but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And no, but it's not like this bad. It's not this bad. The plushy Drake. Hmm. This one's a hard one. Cause I feel like I have good, let, let's go to the plushy Drake for a second of the UC version. This is really cute. This is like beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. The converted version just like does not do it for me. It doesn't do it for me. And I think for that reason, it's going to go in. Hmm, do you smell that? I still think I like the purple Drake a little bit better. So it will go right after that. And I feel bad for putting it there, but we're not ranking it by its UC, by its unconverted art style. We're looking at it in the converted art style. And I don't like any really of the converted plushy art. Like I don't like the converted the converted plushy art. It just sucks. Like, they're plush toys. Like, this doesn't look like a plush toy. It just looks like a weird yellow drake with markings on it. That's why I thought it was the spotted drake. Like, it just isn't good. The pink drake. I want so badly to put it in beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous, but there's a reason why it's not there, and... There's just like a reason. There's a reason why it's not there. And we love the pink Drake, but I don't know. I don't really know about the pink Drake. I think I'm going to put it at the top of very cool, like so much so. But I do love the pink Drake. Unpopular opinion too. I like the shade of pink. I'm not mad at it. It's not quite a hot pink. It's not quite like a light pink. Somewhere in between, but in like a good way. I think we might come back to this one because I think there's an opportunity for the pink Drake to enter beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous territory, but currently not quite. Now we have the pastel Drake, and the pastel Drake is going to the top of beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous because the pastel Drake is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's fly. It, it is fly. And it's gorgeous. Maybe it's not the most sexy, but you just have to be one of those three, one of those four to get into this tier. And I think in some ways the pink Drake is gorgeous, but she's not quite gorgeous. She's very cool. So, but the pastel Drake, one of my favorites, Momego is a pastel Drake in my head. I haven't quite like gotten him to become a pastel Drake, but Momego will be my pastel Drake. I love the idea of a male pastel Drake because green is my favorite color. And pairing that with like a Valentine's female Drake is probably the cutest thing ever. And I love them. This is the orange Drake and unpopular opinion, but I like the orange Drake. I, I'm putting them in very cool, like so much so. I don't know. Some of the basic colors just do something to me. This shade of orange is different than this shade of orange. This one is muted and sucks. This one is good. I like the shade of orange. 
I have a baby Drake named Rumor, and I'm writing, like, I wrote, like, a long, long fanfic for this, like, you know, the Drake family that I have, and I think Rumor might grow up. I might paint Rumor, who's a baby Drake right now, orange, and then I, well, I actually might paint him fire, because, well, actually, I'm not going to get into it, but what is this? What is this? What the heck is that, Drake? I have never seen that before. What is that thing? Marble Drake? Why have I never seen this before? Oh, um, I like the eye color, but um, I don't have enough time with it. So I'm just going to put it right here. In hmm, do you smell that? Because I don't know. I'm, try I'm trying to smell something, but I don't really know you. I don't really get you. I just don't know. I don't really know. I don't, I don't really know about you. And we're going to just move on. We're going to move on to the mutant Drake who is at, oh, what's going on? Who's at the top of very cool, like so much so. This is the definition of a cool animal, a cool Drake morph. Like this is cool. It looks very animalistic. It looks very scary. My only like interesting thing about it is let's see if I can find said mutant Drake. A, B, C, D. Oh, yeah. It's very interesting how, like, I like the converted more than the unconverted. I don't really like that, but I like that. So I really like it. I think there's an argument for it making the top tier, but I think it's actually, like, the pinnacle of very cool, like, so much so. And so, therefore, it'll be there. This is the Moroccan Drake, who is going straight into beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. I have Lumior on one of my side accounts, who is a Moroccan or Marroquan Drake. I love it. I love this thing. It looks like a koi fish. It looks just so interesting. I like the colors. I like that it's white. I love white Neopets, like the color, the painted color white. I just think they like look really cool, especially on the backgrounds. And, you know, they just look cool. I like the colors. I think this is objectively the second best Moroccan Neopet after the Moroccan Lutari. I think I'm, I think the Moroccan Vandegeyer might have like tied the Drake with second spot for M Moroccan, but I think Moroccan is one of the best paintbrush colors and maybe we'll rank the Moroccan, maybe we'll rank the paintbrushes at some point. But that would be a long video because I could talk for a long time about those. But anyway, beautiful. He's fly. A bit sexy, I will say, and gorgeous. So, yes, I think this is a, the one, one of the one cases where I can see a Moroccan Drake being both feminine and masculine. It has like both sides to it. Same with um this mutant Drake too. So maybe those are the two cases for that as well. This is like the Marisite uh, Drake. And I'm just gonna, like, put that over here and, like, probably not with, like, this toy Drake. Because I think he's cool. Maybe, okay, that was, like, harsh. Because if I'm gonna do that, I have to put, no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> that was so shady. I like him. I like his color. I just, I smell something is off. I don't think about him too much. He's not that much to me. Here's a magma Drake, which is one that I would actually really like. Um, If I could ever find my magma time or whatever. If you found your magma time, maybe you want to like dip my Drake in magma. I don't know if I would have him long term as a magma Drake, but I think he's very cool. That is cool. That's objectively cool. Like, I think magma Drake is like right up here and very cool. I think, no, I'll put pink over stealthy. I, I think he's cool. I do. And he's cool. Like, that's a cool concept. And I think he's actually one of my favorite magma pets. I like the magma... What other magmas? Well, maybe I just like the magma drake. I, I don't know. I don't know if I've actually seen many of the other magma pets. I've seen... No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the island drake. This is the island drake, and I'm gonna put him in... Hmm, do you smell that? The top of the tier. Because the island Asia is one of my favorite neopets. So I should like the island drake, but I don't know. I... I don't, I don't like what they did with his markings. I don't like the stupid thing that they put on his head. I mean, obviously, um, you know, whatever, if it's, if it's culturally significant, I totally understand that. I just don't personally like, like it in the context of the Neopets. So I'm just going to put him in, hmm, do you smell that? Cause I'm like, I don't know. He has a case for I thinky, but, 
right now. He's just not getting that case. And I think, unfortunately, some of these people, some of these neopets will have to move into probably not. I think, like, I'm seeing it right here. I'm seeing that one just enter probably not because I don't like the split. I'm sorry. I was trying to pretend. <laughs> what is this? What is that? What is that pet? Is that glowing? No, it's jelly. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I don't care about this jelly neopet. I'm just going to throw it over here. It's like the sketch. I don't care about these ones. They're not that cool to me and I don't care about them. This is the Wraith Drake, which is very cool. Like so much so. Kind of gives me the same energy as these three. They feel evil. They feel spooky and crazy. And I and I think there is there might be a case also for for this Drake to end up somewhere in beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous. Because I don't know. I mean, the dark spirit. I'm kind of getting a little bit like vibes, but we're just we're gonna ignore it. Here is the ice Drake, right? Yeah, the ice Drake. I think I think he. I think the ice Drake is cool. I. I think it needs customization because it's a little bit like the silver drake. They, they're they the same thing. They're like literally monotone. They don't have any color variation in their eyes. But I, but I don't like it for some reason with this. But I like it with these two. I think maybe it's because of the color. I love green though. So why is the green not working for me? I don't know. This is the Halloween drake. And this is going in. No. Like no. No, 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 no. 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 Just No. It's, it's not, no, no, it's not it for me. It's just not it. No, I'm sorry. Like, I hate it. <laughs> this is like one that I, I think this category could also be changed to like, I hate it. Like, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Um, yeah, it just is stupid. And now we have the Grey Drake, which I think might have to go into Beautiful Fly, Sexy or Gorgeous, because I think the gray drake is pretty fly. I like it. I love the color of gray. I love, this is like one of my favorite just colors in general on a neopet. Like this kind of like gray, kind of muted color. I like the sad eyes. I just like him. I think he's cool. I love the gray neopets. I, I love the UCs as well, but I, I don't actually know. I think I might like the unconverted less than the converted drake. I think, can we go, can we just take a, take a gander over that? Is there no UC Grey Drake? I think there is. There has to be a UC Grey Drake. I don't know. Maybe there is none. Whatever. I mean, there is probably. I mean, whatever. But I like the the converted one better. This is the gold Drake. For some reason, it's like you want to put it over here with the silver, but I don't like it as much. So I'm going to put it down here with, hmm, do you smell that? Maybe it's the yellow is not really doing it for me. Don't have any thoughts about this one, really. It's kind of like with these three, just no. This is the glowing Drake. I think I'm going to put it over in the towards the end. Again, I love green. Something is just not working for me here. I think with some customizations, it could be cool. This is the ghost drake. I'm going to put him up here in I think he. I just like the ghost drake for some reason. It looks kind of sad, kind of forlorn, which I like. I like that it has a bit of animation. I mean, not not like physical animation but like you know just a bit animated and like has a bit of like expression I like that a lot so I'm gonna put him up here the fire drake the fire drake is gonna go into very cool like so much so above the shadow drake because um if you can't tell these are like basically like almost the same neopet except he has some like markings on him um and those and the markings do it for me. Like, usually those, like, weird fire markings would not do it for me. But in this case, it's actually, it actually is doing it for me. I like this, like, this view better, too. This is the fairy drake. And we all want to love the fairy drake. And we all want the fairy drake to be up here. But I think, I think it goes in very cool, like, so much so. But I, but I, but I just think it goes in I thinky because I think that, this could be a better color. I think we could have gotten a better color on this Drake. I I don't like it. I, I think the UC Fairy Drake, which I like this. I really like this. I really like this, the UC version, a lot better than just the normal one. I like the tail. I really do like the tail. I don't know. I think maybe he goes in very cool because I do like him more than the orange Drake. Like, come on. Maybe the orange Drake needs to come down to I think he and... I don't even know. I don't even think he's like this cool. I think he goes here. Okay. Maybe I was going crazy with the orange streak. I was on one. 
Here's Eventide, and I know a lot of people do like the Eventide pets, but something about them just like doesn't do it for me, so I'm gonna put him over here in Maybe I'm probably not. I think that might be a really unpopular opinion, but I'll put him like right in the top because I could see why he works for somebody. It just doesn't work for me. I feel like it doesn't... I like Neopets like without clothes and I don't know. He's just so detailed. He doesn't really fit with the, art, the other art styles. I don't know. If you can tell, I kind of like some of the more understated, but then it's like, oh, look at the Moroccan Drake. It's crazy looking. It's super detailed, but detailed in a different way. Just this one's a little bit too like galaxy, like 2015 galaxy leggings. And I think there's a time and a place for that. And maybe just not on my tier list. Here's the white Drake. White Drake goes right up there with the shadow Drake. I like it a lot. I, I like the basic colors for Drakes. I think the basic colors look almost the best on the Drakes. I feel kind of similarly about some of the cows. Like I like some of like the basic color cows, but I love the white drake. That's so pretty. If the white paintbrush wasn't so expensive, I might even have a white drake at some point, but they're super expensive right now. The electric drake. This is another iconic color, but it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. It's, it's going to go in, hmm, do you smell that? Cause I, I like it more than the ones under it. Cause I have some memories of it and it has some fond memories. The elderly girl drake. I'm going to put that in probably not. And honestly, I'm going to put them both in probably not. I'm not the biggest elderly fan, like the, el you know, the elderly paintbrush fan. I know a lot of people do really like it. It's just not quite for me. I'm not a big fan of like modern Neopets, like dressing them as like modern characters. You know, I'm more of like a fantasy person. Obviously, I did have that storyline with those bloomeroos. But we're not in that era anymore. We've moved on and they're kind of stuck in that old era. I think objectively, I could put the <laughs> I could put him down here. Like he could end up down here. So we'll just we'll do that. This is the dimensional Drake, and for some reason it just doesn't do it for me. I'm gonna put him in. Hmm, do you smell that? Maybe it's because I'm not the biggest fan of this blue shade. It's very like just not it. I wish maybe they would have gone with like a purple, but maybe they had too much purple. So gonna put him there. I, I feel like in a, there's a way for him to work. He just doesn't do it for me for whatever reason. This is the Disco Drake and I love green. I love fun, but he also just doesn't quite do it for me. I think Disco Drake is the perfect example of something is off with this pet. Like most of the, I like most of the paint, the, I like most of the pets that are able to be painted disco. Um, I'm, I like most of them. I like most of the options. But for some reason, like, this one just, ugh, it doesn't quite do it for me. And I don't know. I don't quite know what to say about that or what what there is to say about that necessarily. So now we go on to the Desert Drake. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I want to put the Desert Drake up here in Beautiful, Fly, Sexy, or Gorgeous because... I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but he goes up there and I like him. There's a case for him possibly dropping down to here, but for now he's going here. He's just right at the end. I like him. Derrigan Drake. Derrigan Drake is the perfect example of, hmm, do you smell that? Something's not right about this. Something is not right about this. But the color is cool. The red eyes are cool. I think Derrigan, Dargan, is like the one where a drake, you could have done so much with a drake. Is there, there the UC Dargan drake? Like, that's cool. I like that. Don't love it, but how did it get so, why is there so much height? Why is there so much height here? It's too much height and I can't, I can't with it. And it's going in, hmm, do you smell that? Who's this? Is that biscuit? It's either biscuit or custard, and it's just gonna go in like, hmm, do you smell that? Because I don't think about it that much. This is the clay drake. I mm, do you smell that? Like, I don't know. Maybe clay drake can just go in like probably not. Maybe they just go in probably not. They're, I, I don't hate them. I just personally, it's just no. It's no. It's weird. Like, I could see myself having most of the pets here at some point in some capacity. Maybe not as permanent pets, but like, you know, I could see myself at least like painting them, giving them a chance. And hmm, do you smell that? But this is like, no, I'd never have a pet that color. Cloud Drake. I think for some reason, the Cloud Drake doesn't fully do it for me. The Cloud Drake is an I thinky. 
I think I like him. I think I put him right here. He's cool. Some of the cloud, like I have a cloud permanent pet. It's the cloud cow, but for some reason the cloud drake doesn't quite do it for me. I think maybe it's because, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't do it for me, but yeah, he goes there. Woodland drake. This goes straight up into very cool. I think maybe like right there. I really want a woodland drake. I like that you can do the woodland wings. Um, I think if, <laughs> I think I could just like have like a, bunch of drakes on one account because like I've said drakes cows and drakes and cows are my favorite pets in like all the color because I think it's just I like the converted artwork of the drake the most I like the, the the converted artwork the best like at a basic level like I like the drakes in basic colors I don't just like it in cool colors it's all of that versus like I don't really like normal akaras but I really think the wraith akara is super cool because it's just completely almost completely different than the normal style it's yeah it's in the same shape but it just like looks a lot different um the christmas drake i actually like this color of drake i like this dark green kind of like foresty green so i think in that case i'll put him in probably not but i'll i'll put him down here because i don't want an elf like i'll never have an elf neopet that's not that's not what i'm looking for <laughs> the chocolate drake the chocolate drake is so cute to me i think i I, I think he goes in I think he because, well, no, I think I'll put him in very cool. He's very cool. He is very cool. He's just not quite my favorite. Um, and I don't really actually know if I'd ever want a chocolate drake. I think I've had one. I traded and I got a chocolate drake really quickly, but it instantly got traded for something else, I think, in the next pet auction house. But still, the chocolate drake is very cool. Candy drake. Candy drake is going into the top tier. I like the candy drake. I do. I don't know necessarily if it's beautiful, fly, sexy, or gorgeous, but it's beautiful to me. It's fly to me. Sexy, probably not, but definitely gorgeous. There's a case that it could be in a lower tier, but I like it. I mean, I objectively like it a little bit more than the desert one, so it can go there. What is this? What is that? What is that? Striped? Is it stropped? See, like, some of these are so irrelevant. Checkered. This is the checkered Drake. Probably not. Probably not. Not much more to say about that. Camouflage Drake. Hmm, do you smell that? Again, not really a fan of this color family. Not really a fan of this color family. Um, so that will have to go in there. I have just noticed that we do not- we're missing a few colors of Drakes. And I will add them when we get towards the end. Burlap Drake. Do you smell that? I don't like that. I something smells weird. It's there's something that's off. There's something that's not right. There's something that's just not quite kosher about the burlap drake. I know people think the burlap pets are super cool. I'm not the biggest fan. I think they're a little scary with those eyes. I think like the UC plushies kind of like did this style the best and like we should just maybe leave that in the past. This is the brown drake. Love. Gonna put this up in I thinky. I just like this color. It's a cool color. Biscuit. I think. I think he's at probably the end of I thinky. I think he's a cool color. Okay, we need to zoom out a little. Okay. Yes, and I thinky. Biscuit is cool. Baby. Baby is very cool, like so much. So I like the baby Drake a lot. I think he's very cute. And I support the baby drake and whatever the baby drake wants and i will give the baby drake whatever the baby drake wants i have a baby drake named rumor and maybe rumor might not be a baby forever of course because like we age we grow as people as drakes as neopaths we grow but one of my favorite babies definitely like top five or top six babies some of the other babies though like will really snatch the baby drake like baby asia baby you saw baby Quiggle, what's another really cute baby? Baby Bloomeru, they all kind of like eat the baby Drake, but the baby Drake still is cute. Even that, I love the baby Terry as well, <laughs> which is just an egg, but I really like it. Here's the water Drake, and the water Drake will go into very cool, like so much so. Just think this is a really cool idea. I like it. 
and I think it's really pretty. I think there's a there's like a love story between like a water drake and a woodland drake, and they're both these like nymphs, and they're kind of like these like you know what I mean? Like it's just because I can make these storylines like on a dime because I've got a lot of thoughts, I've got a lot of opinions, I've got a lot of emotions to put into writing and to put into fictional um, pixel characters. Well, they're not really like pixels, are they? They're just like PNGs, whatever. Eight bit. Um, no, no. No, 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 no. Transparent, probably not. Not my thing. Not my thing. Tyrenian. Mm, I want to put it right in. No, because it looks crazy. This is the ugliest Tyrenian, one of the ugliest Tyrenian pets. There's actually quite a bit of ugly Tyrenian pets. Neopets like really phoned it in with the Tyrenian pets. How do the mutants look like this, but the Tyrenians look like this? I'll put him in him. Do you smell that? Because there's good things about him, but I don't think. Striped. I like it. I like striped. I don't think I'd ever own a striped. Like, these two are kind of like, I don't think I'd own these two. But I, but I don't think there's anything wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with either of them. Maybe I'd like a different color for the striped. Maybe I would. Maybe I would actually like that a little more. But I don't have a problem with the colors they chose. Valentine's Drake. Valentine's Drake goes right into beautiful, right into fly, right into gorgeous. She's everything. Kurayama, my Valentine's Drake, is the prettiest thing that you've ever seen. I wish they would have done something cute with the little hair piece. Um, but of course, you know, Neopets is not always going to slay. They they could have made her a little bit more slay, but they didn't. Toy Drake. Toy Drake is right here. Right here. I think in terms of, like, my favorite Neopets and, like, who I have them, like, associated with their characters and things and whatnot. Toy could be a little bit higher. I think Toy could be here. But I do like, I think I like the Snow Drake, like, a little bit more objectively. I think the Moroccan Drake, I don't know why. Yeah, I think he goes here. It's, like, objectively, Snow, Moroccan are probably, like, some of my favorites. But then, like, in so same with Valentine's and Pastel, and I think Toy is, like, one where it's, like, I'm not sure if it's, like, my love for Inono, my Toy Drake, or the actual, like, Toy Drake itself that gets me. But, yeah. We're not done yet, though. I will be right back. We don't have all of the pets. Okay, we're back. We are back. And we have the basic colors, the red, blue, and yellow. And then we have Steampunk, because I don't think Steampunk was included here. This will be the definitive list and maybe I'll save this one and upload it but I don't know if I can do that I don't know maybe I'll just make my own tier ranker later at some point for all the drakes and update it as we go but no, wait, let me just do the basic colors blue I like a I like the blue drake I really do one of my favorites I think I might want a blue drake in the future I just like it I don't know this color blue like does something to me it does something to me in ways that this color of blue doesn't. They're very different. I mean, they're very similar. I think they might be probably the same shade, but there's something about the blue drake I really like. Red drake, I think as well. I think I like the. I, I think I'm going to like give the other ones a little bit more love though. But I like them. I like these two basic colors. I, I could even see having a red drake up here and very cool. Like I like the red drake. I like the blue drake. Might be an unpopular opinion because they're just basic colors, but I like them. Yellow Drake, though. Hmm. Do you smell something? I think better than the Dargan. I don't love the Yellow Drake. I don't know. Maybe it's because yellow is not one of my favorite colors. Maybe I wish the yellow was... I see that it's like the same hue as the other ones. Like, they're all... This is not like a fire truck red. It's a bit muted. It's a bit not as intense as like a fire truck. The blue is not like a, you know, in your face royal blue. It's a little bit muted, but the yellow's kind of given mustard. It's kind of mustard. It kind of smells. I don't like it. And then steampunk. I need like a better view of steampunk because I can't really see it from that view. Yeah, probably not on the steampunk. I think it's interesting, but again, it's not for me. It's a little too like detailed for me personally. Um, but it's crazy. That was our tier ranking. A lot has made it into some of these upper tiers. So I'd say like starting, ending with the ice, I could see myself like owning every single one of these drakes. 
<laughs> not at the same time, but it may, at one point in time, I could see myself somehow owning one of these Drakes, obviously in our top tier. I own a Valentine Drake. I own a toy Drake. I have a Moroccan Drake. Um, I have a candy Drake and I'm going to have a snow Drake at some point soon. And then I, I want to have a Royal Drake at some point soon. And I'd love a gray Drake in the future if it gets a little bit less expensive and then very cool. I will have one of these very soon. I have a baby Drake. And then down here, I don't really have any of these currently, but I've had some of them in the past and maybe I'll have a red Drake in the future because I like the red Drake a lot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. We had some that, we had quite a bit that went into like, hmm, do you smell that? Where it's kind of like, this is, I'd say these are two of the middle tiers. Obviously it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six tiers. So these are kind of like the middle, this being like middle good, middle bad. <laughs> I just couldn't see myself owning like, any of these pets in like a long-term fashion. Yeah, I have Rosen, who's right now a zombie Drake, but that's like for plot purposes why he's a zombie Drake. And there's also these other ones that are other things. But what I actually do, I wish, so there's something called a Hydra Drake, which I will put it, I will show you it right now. So this, this is the Hydra Drake. And I love it. It's not a paintbrush color. It's actually just a wearable for your Drake, which I really love personally. I really like the Hydra Drake. And I know that eventually I will have this costume. And if I could rank it, it would end up in this top tier. Because I just think this is just one of the coolest things in Neopets. I think it does kind of the, what I'm talking about in terms of like, I like the more simplistic Neopets stuff in not adding too much because it has almost the same frame as the Drake. It just adds more heads. It's just, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I can't wait to have this. And that would definitely make it up into this top tier, but obviously it's just a costume. It's not a paintbrush, but it feels like a paintbrush because it changes the way you're pet looks completely. You just can't like dress it or customize it as much as the uh, other pets that you might have. You can do, but it doesn't matter. It's still super cool. But anyways, also thank you to everybody who has been adding me on Neopets. I'm not as lonely now. <laughs> I have like now other humans that I play Neopets with. And if you want to be one of those humans that I play Neopets with, add me on Neopets and Thank you again for watching all my videos and, you know, subscribe, like the video, whatever, do all those stupid things <laughs> if you want to, of course, because um, I'm having a lot of fun playing Neopets and I have pr part of the present story written and I don't know like how I want to release it. I would, it would be really cool if I could on a pet page, like release chapters of the story that I'm writing, but some of it has some like more adult themes. So I don't know if that is okay on Neopets. Probably not. I probably would just have to like put these on like, what is it called? Like AO3 and like just update it regularly. I think I can do that, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Or I might just like, in, what if I did videos where I just read through each chapter? Would that be cool? Would you like that? If I read through each chapter and like in each video, like, you know, there's probably going to be like 20 chapters of this story. And I just like read through them to you on YouTube, like while I was like showing the Neopets. So I was like, as I'm like talking about it, I'm like showing you Nono and then like I'm showing Kuriyama. Like, would that be cool? How do you feel about that? Just let me know down below and that would be cool. Or just Neo mail me or something like you guys have been doing. Thanks for Neo mailing me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be, in my opinion, very, very cool. To, to do and I'd love to like read the story or you know you could read it like I could I could also just like read it in the video and then publish the chapter on AO3 and then just be like here's the chapter if you want to read it yourself I could do it like that and like I guess people on AO3 like that aren't like watching my Neopets videos could read it too but I don't know how they'd even find it is there a Neopets category on AO3 there probably is because there's a lot of um there's a lot of kind of like sexy Neopets like NPCs and we're not getting into those and we probably never will get into those, but you never know. You never know. Um, I, I basically almost have the entire like first story that I'm working on with these Neopets, like almost written. So, um, 
And there's a lot of words. I've <laughs> it's around like 50,000 words that I've already written and I need to I need to edit it of course cuz I'm not a writer by any means. I mean, you know, I went to business school. So putting me in a writing context, I struggle a little bit, but at the same time, like I will go off the deep end with certain scenes. Like Kuriyama in my story is like a magician and like I wrote this one scene and there's like a fight and she has some plant magic and she like summons like lotus flowers and like she explodes the lotus flowers um and they like erupt because there's a fire and they erupt into water because I don't know I, I don't know if lotus flowers even are water but I just think of them as like you know like lilies and stuff so I was like she explodes them into I don't know <laughs> I'm having too much fun um, but anyways, let me know, like, what's your favorite Drake and what's your least favorite Drake? I will go for it. My favorite Drake color is the pastel Drake. My least favorite is the 8-bit Drake. What's your favorite? I'd love to know. I I'd also love to know, like, is the 8-bit Drake anybody's favorite? Um, cause I'd, again, I'd probably like to speak to you and maybe speak to some of the people in your life and maybe we could kind of like, I don't know, we could maybe level set a little bit about those tastes. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching this video, of course, and bye.